Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. <laughs> Welcome to my hellacious doll room. Um, but my desk is actually clean, so we can do a video. So today we're going to look at several different surprise balls and open them and see what we get and maybe make a few crafts. Come on with me and let's get started. Okay, so these are the five surprise balls that we are looking at today. So let's see if we can look a little closer. We've got a mini brands fashion, and this is the kind that says 80 plus minis to collect, so therefore it's the kind with the shoes. 60 plus is the kind with um, the nail polishes always. We've got Make It Miniverse with the Boba Tea appliance. We've got Miniverse Make It Mini Foods with the um, Valentine's Day. We've got Make It Mini Lifestyle, which I was really excited to find. And we've got one of the newer um, Make It Mini Foods for the Cafe series. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one we're going to open is the Mini Brands Fashion. Um, like I said, if it says 80 to collect, that's the kind that has shoes. If it says 60 to collect, it does not have shoes and will have nail polish every time. So let's see. Oh, let me go get my opener. Okay, now we're back with my trusty opening tool. As you can see, it's just a pair of tweezers. And be careful because you can cut yourself doing something like this. But I just like to open it like this. It's a lot easier. Because these don't really tear very well. Oh, here comes Stubbs. He's coming into the frame, maybe. He's seeing what we're trying to do. Um, he hasn't been in a video in a while, so of course he wants to come up and visit. Let's see if we can see him. Hey, Stubbs. What are you doing? He always has this look like he has no idea what's going on. And it's probably because he doesn't have any idea what's going on. Here you go, you can play with these. So let's see if we can get this second layer off. I haven't had real good success with taking the layers off of these balls. All right, so let's see what we got. Hopefully it's a purse that I don't already have and some shoes that I don't already have. Oh, let me show you the um, little checklist here. These are the, um, ultra rares and then the commons. I really want some of these, these like Moschino type bags. I really love this one and I got that one already. And I really want the, um, heart one. That would be cool to have. Here's the shoes. There's a lot of shoes on here. And they fit Barbie. They fit my Lulu Dow doll a little bit better than Barbie. They do not fit a Fison doll. They do fit um, Curvy Barbie better, um, per what My Froggy Stuff says. I have not tried them on a Curvy Barbie yet. Here's some other things you can get, like some scarves. Um, these are apparently um, bow ties. And I really want this, this little one, if it'll, yeah, this little pink one for Mina. Um, you can get things like hats. Mina and Nia can't wear them because of their hairstyles and Mina's head's too big. These are apparently um, ankle bags, belts, nail polishes, another belt, um, and some nice shoes. So, let's see what we got. Okay, this feels like something I don't already have. 
Oh, this is the um, accessories. So we got a nice scarf, a headband, which I've already got this headband, I think, but it's cute. Um, and some nice tan shoes. You can always have some tan shoes. These I think will fit Barbie really well, so they'll fit Nia. Um, because she's on a classic made to move Barbie body, but I don't think they're gonna fit my um Fison doll for Mina, but they will fit my Lulu Dow doll as well, so that'll be nice. And I can show you the fit of them in just a minute. So let's see what purse we got. Ooh, is this a double? I can't remember. But this is the one that we got. It's either a coach bag or a Louis Vuitton bag. I can't remember. I remember coach had a lot of these little things on their bags. And then Louis Vuitton has these little things. So I'm, I'm a little bit behind in my bag knowledge. But I think that's what they were. So, and you can open it up. They all unzip and there's just some little tissue paper in there. But that's what we got. So let me show you the fit of the shoes. Okay, so here's the shoes on Nia, my classic made to move Barbie. They are a little bit big. See, here's her foot. But you can get away with them. Here they are on Sean, my um, curvy made to move Barbie. They actually fit perfectly on her. Please excuse these pants. They were not made for the bottoms to be seen. I made them myself. But they actually fit perfect on the curvy made to move Barbie. And while we're at it, here is the headband. It fits on Barbie and curvy made to move Barbie. Well, it does. One second. <laughs> Let me put it on real quick. See, it fits. So you can actually use those for Barbie as well. Here they are on Mina, my Fison doll. Um, they don't even fit over the feet. She typically wears um, like rainbow high shoes. So that means that these would not fit a rainbow high doll either. See, she wears rainbow high shoes. So... Yeah, this would not fit Rainbow High or Fison Doll like Mina. Here is my Lulu Dow doll. Um, this is Chloe. She just woke up. Um, her face is painted by the very talented Raku Sensei. Um, I've opened some other faces by her on my um, channel, so you want to see some other faces by her you can the eyes are by Lulu Dow um, but she's actually wearing another set of the shoes and they fit perfectly on her so let me show you how the tan shoes fit the tan shoes actually fit perfectly on her um, and this is with her flat feet so I just turned her flat feet all the way down see but they fit perfectly so she could wear these for kind of anything. Um, if you don't have one of these dolls, I would suggest getting them. They're an up and coming company. You can get them as a full set or you can get them much more cheaply as parts, which is what I did and then just had um, Recruits and say paint mine. But their face ups as a full doll or like a full set doll are gorgeous too. Um, they're wonderful. They come with hand changes. They come with multiple feet. So, I mean, they're, they're really cool and they're really well made. So, um, and they can wear, uh, rainbow high clothes, which is pretty cool. So, um, I would definitely suggest getting one from this company. They, um, it's run by one woman and I don't know how many employees, but they do a great job. So we're going to check out. Um, some more balls. Next, let's check out the Make It Mini Lifestyle. Um, I have never opened one of these. 
I've heard there are things like bird feeders, plants, um, maybe, maybe all bird feeders and plants. I'm not sure. I actually haven't done one of these before. So let's see what we get. I was hoping for like plants and things for the dollhouse, but I would be cool with a bird feeder too. I've never even seen the um, checklist, so let's see what we have. Where's the little thing? Oh, there it is. Ow, I just poked myself. So see, you have to be careful if you're using something sharp to open one of these because you're probably going to poke yourself at some point. And it really hurts. Okay. So it looks like, um, first of all, they, the capsule doubles as a little display thing. Oh, I think we got a bird feeder. It looks like a bird feeder. And so we got this Beekaboo cardinal... One cardinal, three eggs, and one nest. That's cute. And then this wings and things bird feeder. And then we got a thank you bag with a little man on it. And a home sweet home bag. This is cute. Okay, and the instructions. So I think this doubles... Or it's supposed to double as a display. It doesn't have the little snap down here that goes on it. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, and this. Oh, you can hang the bird house, I think, or the plants from this. Okay, let's see what's in these bags. So Home Sweet Home has a little bit of... Stuff that says, let's hang. See if it'll focus. It's like a little twine. And then we have, um, I'm not sure what all this is. Oh, it's the little legs for this thing. So you just put them in. Oops, I did it the wrong way. Of course I did. And then it stands up like this. Ah. And then, of course, you have your little tweezers. I never keep these tweezers because I use my own tweezers. Um, but they're really helpful if you don't have any. Okay. And then, let's see what our birdhouse is. So it comes like... This, oh my gosh. I'm going to have to figure out how to build this. So it comes like this with two rubber bands. Oop, there goes our light. It just got really cloudy. With a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to have to figure out how to build this. And then in our little bird box, I don't even want to open it because it's so cute. But we have to. Um, I might keep the box to put it in the dollhouse. So we've got a nest or some stuff that kind of looks like a nest. Oh, maybe that goes on the bottom because we have a bird, we have a robin. Look, oh my gosh, this is really cute. And look, two eggs and a nest. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this in here with this bird. Okay. Do you want to watch me struggle to try and put this together? Um, actually, let's look at the uh, little thing first and it might tell me how to do it. So, here's the checklist. Let me turn it so you can see it good. There are some really cool plants. This reminds me of a plant you can get a Lego plant um, which looks really cool I've always liked that plant I don't know it's a birds of paradise is what it says 
Here's some bird feeders. This is the one that we got. And, oh, a hummingbird feeder. I really like this plant. My favorite are like the hanging plants. And here's these. And on the back, it kind of shows you. Okay, so here's how we do it. We have a square. Then we put the stuff on, and then we put this together and put it over. Oh, and we're supposed to put the twine between the top. So we can hang it. Okay. Let's try this. I was thinking about doing these off camera. Um, yeah, let's do these off camera because this video is going to be like 40 billion years long if we do them on camera. So I'll be right back. Actually, for this one, just this one, um, we're going to do it on camera because it's kind of like snap fit well this one doesn't want to snap fit on so we'll fit these in here first can you see it and put these little pieces come on go in there maybe it wants to go this way yeah, it wants to go that way. Go in there. This one. Come on. We'll try putting them together first. Then snapping them in. Okay, that works. So we've got a little birdhouse. This part is going to be kind of difficult, especially if you have any issues with dexterity because this is not a very long strain. Um, so it said you just put it like, like this. If I can get this through this hole. Okay. And I'm just going to tie it a little bit, like make a square knot, so it's tight, but it doesn't tie all the way down. Okay, now it can hang like this, so we can put these two together. And then they go on top like this. But we probably need to put our bird and stuff in first. So let's put the nest. Oh, we got three eggs in the nest. See that? We have three little eggs. So why don't we put the bird eggs and the nest in first? I'm pushing it down so you can see in there, trying to put the bird where you can see him. Okay, then we snap fit these on. This is a little bit harder than I thought it would be to put these together. There we go, now it's snap fit. There we go! So on this side you can kind of see that the nest is taking everything up. Um, the nest is definitely taking everything up. But, over here, see if we can move him down some. There we go. Now we have the bird peeking out. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. I'm going to see if I can hang it on this little thing. Oh, it's too long to hang. So we'll just sit it like this, and we have a bird feeder. Let's go to the next ball. Okay, next let's do this Make It Many Food, um, I forget what it's called, Cafe Series 1. This is the newer one, so it has to have this on it to be the newer one. Um, I've heard that some of these balls on the sides of them, it tells you what you're going to get. 
but I don't think it tells you on these ones. So let's go ahead and open it. Hopefully, because my doll room is getting cleaned, which is the main reason I haven't been doing videos because I haven't had a place to film. Um, and I've been busy. But hopefully now that my doll room is getting cleaned, we'll be able to do a lot more videos. I've got some Barbie unboxings. And um, let's see, Barbie unboxings. And probably some other stuff too. Like maybe we might do some sewing stuff. If you guys are interested, because I've been sewing a lot for my pear shaped um, smart doll. And I could do a review of her if you guys are interested as well and show what I did to like change up her look. Okay, so what all did we get in here? A lot of things. So we got Happy Sun Farms. And we got ice, icy, well, yeah, icy, ice, ice. I think that's going to be our, yeah, that's going to be our resin. We got a thank you. And we got our spoons. And have a sunny day. And we got Just Like Home. I don't recognize this one, so this might be a new one. We got our um, little instruction booklet. And then I'll let you see. This is Series 3. So all the things that we can make. So here's the top. So the s'mores look really good. I think, no, I haven't gotten those cookies yet. I really want to get some of these pops because I think they come with a mold. And then you can make other things that you want to. I think these come with a mold too. These I'm not sure. Yeah, these, no, these don't come with a mold. Um... Oh, I've got these, and they look so realistic. Here's this, this. I've got this one. That one looks really realistic as well. Here's some chicken soup and some baked potatoes. I'm not a giant baked potato fan. Um, I don't know why. I just never have been. I like potatoes, and I like french fries. I've just never been a baked potato fan. Okay. So here's our little extras. We got our thing that makes the top of the ball. We got our little tweezers. And we have a fork. Okay. In Sunny Day, we have chives. I don't think I've had this one before. I had capers before. So these are little circle beads. See, you can tell they're little circles. So those are chives. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the baked potatoes. Because <laughs> I said that. Here we go. Here's the baked potatoes. Here's a dish. And here's our sour cream for it. Okay, so we're going to get to making these and um, be right back. So what I've decided to do is make these on screen. I'm going to divide this into two videos and do the appliances and the Valentines in the second video. Um, maybe do a third one. Yeah, I've got a third one I can do for the second video. So that's how we're going to do this. So first... We're going to take our baked potatoes, if I can get them open. There's a little bit of tape on the top of them that's kind of holding them together. It's 
making my nail stickers come off. These are the worst nail stickers anyway, so not a big deal. Okay, so they're wrapped in these little foil papers. So if you just unwrap them, there's... Oh, that's interesting. There's like some stuff in here that you can make a hole so that you can put stuff in it. So it looks like the potato. This is kind of like, it reminds me of the, this is going to sound gross, but the sand that you used to have to dig through in the pet box for um, the LOL surprise pets. So see, I've made like a little divot in there so we can put stuff in it. And I'm going to sit it back in the wrapper. Mm, I don't think these wrappers really fold up that well to sit it in there, you know. So I think I'm going to just not use those. And just sit it on the plate. So let's make the second one. So I'm just using the end of this fork to start making a divot in there. So we can have somewhere to put everything and then using my hand to kind of squeeze it out. Because we need a place to put the sour cream and we need a place to put the um, chives. We'll just put the chives on the top of the sour cream. Okay. So we've got two baked potatoes so far. All right, so we're going to use the fork. I think I'm going to use the end of the fork. Let me open up this sour cream. And I'm probably going to keep this because I really like the chunky versions of these. They um, work really well for making like icings on cakes and different stuff like that. Um, my resin that I have is very thin, so I like to have some extra of these. So we're just going to put it on the baked potato and spread it out. Hopefully these turn out well. We shall see. Um, it's already kind of stuck on the potato. Um, like the yellow stuff is stuck to the potatoes, so I'm not so concerned about having the sour cream drip to where it makes sure that it's stuck. We will probably put some sour cream on the plate, though, to make sure that the potatoes stick to the plate. That's kind of how I do it, is I make it look like it's dripping or something like that. Okay, so here's the sour cream on this one. Now, while we're going to do this on the plate, hopefully you can see this, is I'm just going to take a little bit of the sour cream, put it on the bottom like this, so that it's visible on both sides to the UV light and just stick it down on the plate and set it how we want it to be. We'll do the other one. And the more you can get on the sides, the better, but I don't want it to be super visible. The good thing is the plate is white, so it'll probably look correct. Okay. Now I'm going to pop it under my nail lamp. Actually, before we do that, we got to put the chives on. So what I like to do is put some in my hand and sprinkle it that way. So we're going to sprinkle some chives on the 
potatoes, come on. It'll just sprinkle. My hands are getting sticky, so it's not sprinkling as well. I don't know that these really look like baked potatoes to me, but it is what it is. They don't look as, as realistic as some of the foods in this. Okay, now I'm just going to pop it into my nail lamp. I'm going to set it on the 30 minute setting and probably cook it for maybe like five minutes, something like that. We'll be right back. Here's what it looks like as it's cooking. I'm probably going to cook it for about five minutes because the um, stuff is so opaque. So that way it'll completely set. But um, you can see a little better on this side and probably turn it around in the middle. This is just a regular nail lamp. It looks like crap because I use it so often. But um, and there's so much resin stuck to the bottom of it. But the good thing about this nail lamp is you can change the bulbs. So when the bulbs give out, which they do on me probably once every couple of months, you can get them for cheap and then exchange them. This is by Melody Susie. I just got it on um, on Amazon for probably about $30. Okay, so we're at the end of this video. We made some baked potatoes that I don't think really look like baked potatoes. But you know what? You can kind of tell what they are, so close enough. Usually their foods are more, like, realistic looking. I think it's the capers. I think the, well, and the cream cheese. I don't know. Um, or whatever that's supposed to be. <laughs> and then we made this lovely little bird's nest, but you can't see the eggs in the bird's nest, but that's okay. I know they're in there. And then we also saw some shoes and looked at them on different Barbies and saw the person accessories from the many fashions. So we've done a lot. Um, I think we will make this the end of this video and then we will go to the second video where we're going to open the appliances, the Valentine's ball, and another one of the Make It Mini Food, um, food balls. So thanks so much for coming and I'll see you next time. Bye!